All right, we'll do some squats, eh? Just some slow ones to warm up. How's everybody feeling? No injuries? Good. And then you're going for the toes. Bit of a stretch through the hammies. Okay, creep it forward. We are doing a few push-ups today. Last one. And some small circles. Hey! again, changing direction. Bigger again. Cross the front to finish. And I'll take you through our first nine minute round. So the thing in today is movement. Rather than static exercises in one spot, we're gonna be jumping around, walking around our hands and things like that. The first one is a squat with a, a side step. So if you start on the edge of your space and then you're stepping and squat, stepping and squat, like so. So that's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds in between to swap to our next exercise, which is a push up with a step. So sort of moving in a square, push up, off to your side, push up, backwards, push up, off to the side, push up and hopefully, Back to where you started. Your third exercise and final for this first round. It's a toe touch position. Your hands are in front of your face, sort of like you're boxing. You're reaching left to right, right to left. So one, two, and then you're coming up. One, two, three, four. Back down. One, two, one, two, three, four. There, your first three exercises. That's all you need to remember for now. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, going through each one three times. So it's a nine minute round, starting with our squat with a side step. Go for it, squat. So just a normal squat, so your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width. Looking to cover a reasonable bit of distance with that side step. Keep it there, breathing through it, 10 seconds. Okay, push up position. So even if you're doing this one on your knees, try and come up onto your feet for the step. So I'll do the first one on my knees, push up, and then I'll come up, step, then you can go back to your knees, push up, up to your feet, step. Otherwise, feel free to do it all on your toes. Ten seconds. Oh. 
Okay, on your back. So going through the toes, sit up, lift, sit up right, and then you're up with four straight punches. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. seconds. Exhale and reach for your toes. Get into a rhythm with your breathing. Standing. Going for our squat with a side step. Okay, going. Squat, step, Squat, step. I'll mention again quickly, I'm not gonna be the best fitness model today when I'm doing my push-ups. So don't copy me when you're looking for someone to set the pace. You might be going a bit faster and looking a bit stronger than me today, I hope. Old football injury is coming back to haunt me. 10 seconds, sitting back into your squats. Okay, push up position. So again, you can do these on your knees or on your toes. When you come up for that step, you wanna be on your toes. So I'll start on my knees, then I can come up onto the toes, step across. Back down to the knees if it pleases you. And then coming up to step. Just moving in a little square. Twenty seconds. Okay, on your back. And start in front of your face. Feet straight up in the air. Left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Sitting up, four punches. Follow your breathing, exhale up, exhale up, inhale back down. Okay, last set of each one. So I'll give you about a minute's rest in between these. Once we finish these three, squat. And step. Sit back into them, chest forward, shoulders back. Keep them there. Last couple. 
Push up position. One push up, step to the side. One push up, step back. Get it going. Set of these, keep working hard. 10 seconds. Okay, on your back. Last set of this sit up punch sequence. Going for your toes. One, two, sitting up. One, two, three, four. Exhale to reach. Twenty seconds. So we're getting decent rest after this. I'll give you a minute. seconds to go. Okay, have a spell. Give yourself a minute there. So we've got another nine minute sequence coming up. Again, three exercises. Again, there's a focus on movement, just as we saw. Quick stretch, kick your legs out, grab a drink, do what you need to do. While you're getting your breath back, I'll take you through our next three exercises. So it's a one-legged hop this time. Starting on one leg, springing off, landing, just a real short squat on that one leg. If you need to put your back foot down, so if I'm squatting on my right leg here and I hop off to the side, if you need to sort of put that down as a training wheel, that back leg, feel free to do that. Otherwise, you want to sort of land on that one leg. Bit of a balancing act as well. Then we're going to a dip with a step. So similar to our push-ups, we'll do two dips. One, two, step across. One, two, step back. One, two, moving in a square. And a kick out on our back into a twist is going to be our ab exercise. So go for two, one, two, and then up for one, two, three, four. Back down, one, two, up, one, two, three, four. So we'll go through each of those three times. And we'll start in 10 seconds. So starting with our one legged squat. So you can start on whichever leg you like. So you come down to a squat, one, two, and then swap legs. One, two, and swap. One, two, and swap. You don't have to hop too far. Just make sure you're using that leg of suspension, land into it. Try not to jerk on the knees too much. Land as softly as you can. Generally a good way to think about it. Or as quietly as you can. Okay, dips coming down. Two dips, one, 
two, and step to the side. One, two, step backwards. One, two, back to the side. One, two, and back to where you started. Just moving through that as best you can. Quick ones. Fifteen seconds. Okay, well done. Kick out to twist, so you're on your back here. For the two kick outs with your back on the ground and then up for a twist. One, two, coming up. One, two, three, four, back down. One, two, coming up. One, two, three, four. So exhale to kick your legs out. Up. Okay, one legged squat, back to that first one. So landing as quietly as you can, nice and softly. Start with your squat. One, two, swap legs. One, two, Oop. to catch myself there. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Down for our dips. Hey Hayden, question. If you've got really weak wrists, is there like an alternative to this? With your dips, you can try turning your hands back the opposite direction and see if that helps. Otherwise, okay. you can do it and sort of regulate the weight if you keep your bum on the ground. If you want to try that, or, uh, try. or you can skip the dip and do the walk. No worries. Let me know if that helps. Otherwise, we'll figure something else out. Ten seconds. Okay, kick out to twist. Okay on the wrists. Good. Going backwards was good. Okay, great. Kick them out. One, two. Coming up. One, two, three, four. So exhale to kick them out. seconds here. Okay, coming up one more time through each. Back to our one-legged squat. 
One, two, one, two. Nice work. Nice and balanced. So thinking quiet, thinking soft. Land into it. Okay, down for our dip and step. Doing a good job. Go for it, two, and step. I'm glad you asked the question, Alyssa. It's a bit easier on my dodgy shoulder too. <laughs> For breaking down. Okay. Yeah, this step wasn't made for people that have weak ankles and knees. <laughs> no, I don't know the shoulder Rico and the knee Rico. <laughs> Alright, we're Ten seconds. Give yourself a rest, well done. Got through another run. So we've got a minute there. Shake it out. Do it yeah, do a quick drink if you like. This next round is just going to be a six minute round, alternating between a duck walk and a bear crawl. And then we have some holds to do. Okay, so when you're ready, a duck walk from one side to the next, it's gonna be a lateral one, like so. So you're down there like that, your heels will be off the ground as you step, and we're back and forth. 50 seconds, 10 seconds. Now bear crawl, if you're on your hands and knees, you lift your knees, and you're back and forth, like so. So it'll be a tough six minutes, and then we're doing our holds. So we're well past halfway through this session. Side to side. Knees stay bent. It's gonna be tough on the legs. Any sort of lateral movement's pretty good for the abs as well. Try and maintain that squat posture if you can. Keep your bum down. It's going to get increasingly difficult as time wears on.
10 seconds. Rest. Start on your hands and knees. So just back and forth here. Lifting the knees up onto the toes. Forward and backwards. seconds okay back to our duck walk I'm sure you're looking forward to it down side to side Stay down there. Breathing through it, 20 seconds. Feel myself slowly creeping up. Okay, hands and knees. Back to our bear crawl. Tough little sequence to finish off. Lifting the knees. Getting a bit tough, don't give up. If you have to stop, you can drop your knees, count to two, and then come back up. Keep it going, don't give up. Okay. One more, 50 second round of each. Go for it. Stay down there. Ten seconds. Nearly there. Okay. Hands and knees. There, crawl. Last one. Bring your knees up, forward. Twenty seconds. Yeah. 
Bien bien. Rest. Good work. Give yourself a minute. I got some holds to do and then we're done. That was a tough one to finish off. Get your breath back. Quick drink if you need it. Okay, we're going to go for three holds. We're doing them three times each for 30 seconds. So four and a half minutes together. The first one we're going to start with is a V-sit hold. Then we'll go to reverse plank. And then we're going to do a similar thing, but lying on our front. So in your V-sit position, so sitting on your bum, We'll start in 10 seconds. So the first one we're doing, right here. Go. So we've got 30 seconds now, keeping your feet up, arms out, just holding. Good to focus on your breathing during a hold sequence. Give you something to think about. In through the nose, long, slow breaths. Out through the mouth. In a couple of seconds, we're coming up, hips up, reverse plank. So, like someone's got a rope around your waist pulling you up to the ceiling, squeeze your butt cheeks together, drawing your belly button in towards your spine, practicing good core engagement. Supporting the lower back, getting back and front, working together. Great one if you're particularly prone to lower back pain. And on your front this time, almost the opposite. Legs up, arms up. Keep them up there. We'll go straight back into the sit hold after this. Okay, V sit hold. On your bum, legs up, arms up. Breathe in your way through it. Last few minutes today. Okay, up, reverse plank, get your hips up. It's easy to just go through the motions with this one. I want you thinking about it though. You've got to get your hips right up, it's nice and high. Your bum will want to just relax. Don't let it do that. You're going to squeeze, pull your hips up as high as you can. On your front, legs up, arms up. So get your quads right off the ground if you can. Do your best. Your glutes will be engaged. Pulling your shoulder blades back together. Back to your V sit hold, last five through each. Ten seconds here. Okay. 
Get your hips up. Keep them up nice and high. Don't let them drop. Breathing your way through it. And on your front, legs up, arms up. I want you to try pointing your palms towards the floor. Drawing your shoulder blades together. Try and keep your quads off the ground. If you're doing that correctly, just about every muscle at the back of your body will be engaged. All right, rest. Well done, take a knee. We'll go through our stretches. Pretty tough one after a long weekend, after a bit of excessive eating and drinking possibly. <laughs> Front leg forward for the hammies. You know, I forgot about that. And swap legs up onto the other leg, pulling up a hip flexor. And front leg forward for the hammies. And onto your bum. Bring it into the groins. Okay, chuck one out. You do a twist. swap legs. Good idea to take some deep breaths while you're stretching. As you exhale, you can try and move into the stretch a little stronger. Okay, around for the calf muscles. And swap legs. And down slowly. Up slowly for the abs, deep breath. Coming back, reaching forward. And throw an arm out to the side, stretch your chest, pushing your palm into the ground. Last one. And swapping arms. Okay, good job everybody. Well done.